Hello everybody! If you are a character creator and you want to set up your figure's custom morphs controllers in the easiest way, then this script is for you. Why must our custom character morphs have a multiplication controller? Every corrective morph for a custom character should be applied only and only when the base character's morph is active. If we have a, corrective, a corrective morph, like uh, this one for the legs side by side 90 degrees, then we want this corrective morph to be fired only when our uh, custom shape is activated. Otherwise, each time the base genesis figure uh, has the legs uh, side by side at 90 degrees, then the corrective morph will be fired, distorting the base figure, as you can see here in the scene, no matter if our base character shape is active or not. I am switching to the currently used section, and uh, as you can see here, this corrective morph is active even my base character is not fired at all. This is a problem. Let's see how the script will help us in uh, setting up uh, all these corrective morphs in the easiest way. First thing we've got to do is uh, to set this parameters tab in the edit mode. So I'm right clicking uh, into an empty space and I'm choosing ed ed edit mode uh, from the pop-up menu. Let's fire our custom shape. This is my little devil. So I'm going um, to switch my little devil shape to 100%. And now in the currently used uh, section, you can see that uh, I've got uh, uh, my little custom shape and also this corrective. I'm selecting the corrective morph, and now I'm executing the script. In the script dialog, all I've got to do is just um, choose my base uh, character shape, my little devil over here from the uh, drop-down menu and uh, choose the appropriate uh, mode over here. Uh, then the only uh, thing I've got to do is just uh, press OK and um, uh, the script will set up the corrective morph for me. Let's see each one of these operation mode and uh, when we've got to use each one of these modes. Uh, starting uh, by uh, plugging our corrective morph into another fire uh, morph. Uh, let's close this dialog and uh, let's bring the legs back to their original position in order to show some examples about uh, using the scripts, the script uh, in the different operation modes. Let's import and uh, link our corrective morph in an existing body CBS uh, morph. I've got uh, a corrective morph for uh, the upper arm um, uh, y rotation in uh, 110 degrees negative. Uh, let's say now that uh, you want uh, to import a corrective morph for this pose and uh, normally um, you uh, have to import the um, morph through the uh, morph loader pro dialog. I'm choosing my morph. This is uh, the third one. I'm clicking open and um, I've got to see if the reverse deformation uh, are enabled. This option is enabled over here, so I am okay. The scale is okay, so I'm accepting the dialog. And normally my new corrective morph now is in the morphs um, group over here. Uh, yes, here it is, let me find it. It's the last one, right? Now, what I've got to do, Selecting, uh, having selected uh, my morph in the parameters tab, I'm executing the script. I uh, choose the first option. I want to plug this uh, new corrective morph into another fire morph. And in the multiplier section, I'm uh, choosing my little devil as it is the base shape to plug as a multiplier. Uh, now, in the second drop down menu, in the middle section of the dialog, uh, I have to select uh, my uh, body uh, CBS upper arm um, corrective morph, which is a native corrective morph for Genesis 9 figure. Uh, so I want every time my little devil shape is fired, and at the same time the body CBS upper arm Y100 negative uh, corrective morph is fired, 
to fire my uh, custom uh, corrective morph as well. It is a corrective morph, so I'm uh, leaving this checkbox uh, checked, and all I have to do is just press the OK button, right? Um, this uh, message inform me, informs me that, informs me that um, uh, the uh, work is done, and uh, now I can find uh, this new morph uh, in the hidden uh, section. Uh, my work is done. Let's verify that uh, the corrective morph is uh, set up um, correctly, and uh, I'm going to find my morph in the hidden um, group. It's somewhere down, so I'm going to use the initials MD. Oh, yes, this one. This is my morph. I'm going to right click and uh, I'm going to choose show in property hierarchy. So I've got my morph right here. Let's see the controllers. We've got the two stages. In the first stage, I'll sub a subtract. I've got uh, the linked native corrective morph, body CBS upper arm Y100 negative. And in the second stage, uh, I've got uh, my corrective, uh, my uh, base uh, shape, my little devil, as a multiplier. As you can see the, in the attributes, I've got to shave the, the new corrective morph with, within it. Uh, all these controllers with saved with uh, the new corrective morph, and over here the same. Uh, so now, whenever this native corrective uh, body CBS upper arm Y110 is fired, and at the same time my base shape, my little devil is fired, then and only then this uh, new corrective morph will be triggered. Uh, we're okay from this. Uh, all I've got to do is just save the new uh, corrective morph. Uh, and um, I think that uh, we're good in this point. I'm going back in the viewport for the next mode. Let's see now the case that uh, we don't have a native uh, uh, body CBS uh, corrective morph. And uh, let's take, for example, the upper arm in uh, the rotation X, uh, which means twist. Um, let me bring it back, the front back, yes. The twist in the negative 95. Um, no, I think I've got a corrective morph for, yes, positive uh, 80 degrees. Let's say that uh, I've got uh, this rotation and I want to make a custom corrective morph for this uh, bending. Uh, you can see in the currently used um, uh, section that uh, there is a non-native uh, corrective morph for Genesis uh, base figure for this rotation. Uh, so now I would like to import again my corrective morph and uh, link it to the bending. I want to link it to the rotation of the upper arm. Uh, let's go again. I've got my Genesis 9 selected, so I'm going uh, into the uh, Morph Loader Pro dialog. I'm choosing my new uh, corrective morph, which is uh, the X80 degrees positive open. I'm checking again for the reverse deformation, they are okay, and I am accepting the dialog. Normally, the new morph is in the morphs group. Here it is. I'm selecting this new uh, imported corrective morph, and I'm executing the skip again. Now, I'm going to choose the second operation mode, because I want to link this morph into the node's rotation. As you can see, this middle section of uh, the dialog has changed and uh, it has automatically uh, found that uh, the left upper arm has uh, a twist rotation and it has already calculated the scholar, so I don't have to do anything uh, but only uh, make sure that my little devil uh, base shape is selected as a multiplier for this um, new corrective uh, morph. I've got on, uh, uh, also this uh, checkbox uh, on for uh, this is a corrective morph and all I've got to do again is just press OK and my new morph is in the hidden in the hidden uh, group. It is ready, it is set up uh, uh, for the new uh, rotation over here. Uh, if I'm going back to the currently used for the base character 
You can see now that uh, this new uh, corrective morph, morph has uh, fired up to 100%. If I'm going to uh, minimize my little devil's uh, controller, then uh, uh, the corrective morph um, uh, is also minimized. Okay, it is affected by uh, this slider. We are okay, okay from here. And now let's see the third case, the third operation mode. Um, I'm going to bring back the twist of uh, the lower armor up and I'm going uh, to extend uh, the legs side by side by 90 degrees as it was at the beginning uh, of this video. Now, I've got um, this uh, multi-rotation JCM body CBS, if you like, over here, already set up for my figure. So whenever the legs are in 90 degrees uh, left and right, I want these little horns to be uh, on the legs, okay? Uh, I've got uh, already uh, set up my morph. If I'm going into the currently used morph for the figure, you will see that I've got this morph over here. It is already set up for the legs, but uh, it hasn't the link uh, for my little devil. So no matter if I'm going uh, to lower or raise back um, my little devil's slider, um, the corrective morph is not affected. We want to link this morph to my little devil. Uh, I've got, uh, again, my Genesis 9 selected. I'm select again uh, as well, sorry, my new corrective morph. And I'm going to execute uh, the script again. Now I'm going into the third mode. I don't want to make any calculation. Uh, so I'm going over here to the none, just multiply my figure. You can see that uh, the middle section has gone and all I've got to do is just choose as a multiplier my custom shape for my little devil uh, character and all I have to do is just press OK. The job is done and now whenever I'm lowering, lowering or raising uh, my main character um, slider, uh, my custom uh, corrective morph uh, follows the same values. Okay, I'm okay from here. So I've, I think uh, you've got the idea how the script is working and I hope that uh, it will serve you well in your workflow. Don't forget at the end you've got to save or resave your custom morphs in order to um, have it in your hard disk for uh, the future uh, use of uh, Genesis figure. Thank you for watching.